It's time to make videos again already? Well, let's do it. Hello, my YouTube friends. Restream started out as a service that helped streamers multi-stream before there was a reliable way to do it from OBS. And they still offer this service to help streamers with connections that can't handle multi-stream. But they've also grown into so much more. Now it can function as a full-on live streaming production studio with lots of features that are available for free. Their main focus is streaming with guests and Restream does this very well. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how Restream works so you can decide if it could be the right solution for your live streaming needs. So you know what? Let's get to it! Let's jump right into Restream Studio first. Then I'm gonna talk about why you may wanna use the multi-stream feature instead of using the one in OBS directly. And finally, I'll give you my thoughts on Restream and who might be the right user for it. Now there are links in the description so you can check it out for yourself and it's free, so why not? Here we are on the landing page and if we take a look at products, we have their multi-streaming product, their studio product, which we're gonna cover a lot of today and then upload and stream which means you can basically upload a video and stream it through Restream. We'll cover multi-streaming later, but we're gonna look more into studio. The first thing you really have to do is log in. So that's gonna bring us right here. You can see that I have the free plan. We've got our default home down here, past streams, video storage, channels so we can set up our channels so it knows which channels we actually have connected you could see i had my channel connected down here but it has expired so we'll just go ahead and connect our channel again you can add other things facebook pretty much anything that you could think of and you can stream to two locations on the free account so there's no reason not to multi-stream you could add twitch or whatever you want so that's how you add your channels and so you've got everything that you need right here if you were going to do a video stream here's where you'd put your video storage you could put that right in there so let's go to home and we're going to go over here and create a new stream now this is going to ask you what you want to do uh, uh, are you going to stream a video or playlist? Are you going to record audio video? Are you going to use an encoder for RTMP or a Restream Studio? We're going to go with Restream Studio and we're going to allow mic or camera access. If you don't find the camera here because it's blocked by the top or the microphone, you can just hit the little settings, come over here and do it. Makes it a lot easier. You can also set up a virtual background in here and uh, basically you could change to no background at all or you can add a completely different background and you can see what that looks like. As long as you have good lighting, it should be okay. Let's go ahead and enter the studio and here we go. Super basic UI. You can see we're in 720. We've got our scenes over here on the left left hand side here we have the layout for the different panes and stuff and this is more important when we get more users involved with our stream we've got private chat so if we have any guests they can privately converse with us right here you can change your microphone or mute it camera same thing here we can share screens we can invite guests we can add presentations we can go into video storage so we can play a video we can share our screen here we can also add images and extra cameras which is really cool can add another camera in here like that one so now we've got two cameras and you can kind of get a look at how the layout thing works i can just drag this camera over here to switch them i can have it like that we could put it like that and you could just drag and switch these anytime you want it's going to work exactly the same when you're using guests you can move your guests around and do whatever you want now you could see that it is mirrored or backwards here in the view and we could change that up if we go into our settings and we go into video and we can uncheck mirror camera and boom now we're all set there we go now if we went in here and we added a screen we'll just add this screen in here and boom now we've got three items you can switch between any one of these just by dragging and dropping them and when we add guests we're going to be able to do the exact same thing so we can see over here what we have in our stream when we hover over it it gives us little boxes so we can adjust the volume and all that sort of stuff we can turn things on and off just right here you can see on the free version we can invite up to six guests which is very cool so we've got our default folders we can add new folders and all that sort of stuff right here if we go into my assets 
we can add overlays and things like that. Now, the free version is going to put this logo up here. And of course, if you upgrade, you can replace the logo with something else, but you can turn it off on the free version. You can change up the theme of the designs for your stuff right here. Your lower thirds you can add overlays. So there you go. Overlays are simple to add if you are a paying customer, but the free ones are just that. They're free. They give you a couple of free ones that you could check out, but obviously if you're not paying for it, you can't actually upload any. Here's some video clips. You can see they just play right over top. And then we've got backgrounds. So the background would be the stuff that you see down here. And we can change that up. And it is video if you want. So that will be motion stuff. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is design. Captions. Basically, there we go. We can add captions to the screen. We can make up any ones that we want. Just by clicking add. Putting your primary and your secondary text in there. And this is what they look like, primary text, secondary text. We can also just click it and it will hide it. We can add text down here at the bottom for a ticker. It's added the same way. We can adjust the speed of the ticker right here. Pretty useful. Right here we have QR codes. So we can create or add our own QR codes to sell products or anything like that. And you just click show. That's what it's going to look like on screen. So you can modify these just by putting them on here and using the website and then adding it. We can add music. Now this adjusts with what you pay for. So in the free version, we only have a couple of selections, but in the paid version, there are a lot of selections. And of course this is copyright free music. So you're not going to get dinged for it on your live stream. You can also upload your own custom music if you would like and then notes and then the chat. So when your live stream is going, your chat is going to be ag aggregated here. You can select any piece of this chat. It will display on the screen. Needless to say, it's going to be whatever your chat is chatting about. You can also add it as an overlay onto your screen and then it will uh, aggregate your chat right here so we can have the live stream here and we can have the chat over here on the screen i really like that they added that you can also see down here we've got landscape and portrait so it's really super simple to invite guests so all you have to do is click this button and go ahead and copy down this right here and send it to whoever you want. All right, so I sent out a guest invite and we'll show you how that works when it comes in. Let's go ahead and take a look at this scene right here. This is the demo scene and you can see it has my main camera here, the other camera there, and then it has this add media source. So we could add a video in here. We can upload the video or we could just use this one. Uh, this is a transition that I had loaded. You could see that it puts the thing right on the screen for us. So we can play it over and over again, pause it in the middle, whatever we want. So we can go ahead and edit this one in here if we wanted to or delete it uh, and then add another one. So we can add a camera, media or a countdown. Uh, so let's add a countdown and there we go. It automatically adds in the countdown. We could go in here and adjust the countdown and all that sort of stuff. Change the color, the fonts, all that kind of stuff. And you could see that Michael has joined. So let's go back over to our main scene and we'll just come over here, hover over, and you could see we have another person right here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click this to add him in and I cannot hear him. So maybe I should turn my headphones on. Hello, Michael. Hey, how's it going? There we go. Now I can hear you. How <laughs> difficult was it to connect? Oh, it was super simple. I literally awesome. just put my name in and that was it. So yeah. if we hover over a guest, we can go like this to maximize their screen and they become full screen. We can go back down here and needless to say with a guest, we could do all the same stuff we did before. We can move it around like this. We can change up how it's set up by going to these layout buttons down here at the bottom. Very cool. I love how this works, man. It's super awesome. It's just fun, man. Everything about this just makes adding guests or doing podcast streams so freaking easy. And then you can see up here, we can add and remove any guest at any time. We can also uh, mute just by clicking the mute button right here next to any of the sources. 
So guest adding is that easy in Restream. Um, let's go ahead and add a scene and we're gonna add a camera. And so there we go, this is a camera scene. So if we wanted to just switch back and forth between the two, we could do that just by clicking here to go to the welcome scene, clicking here to go to our camera scene. We can add another scene, media, and needless to say, we can add slides, video, screen share. So let's add our screen there and boom. So now we could go from this scene to this scene to this scene really easy and it has our countdown. So there's a lot you could do. There's a lot you could do. So as a guest, Michael has a button. What's it say? Oh, the chat actually appears on the right hand side uh, to the right of the video, the four pictures that we're seeing. And uh, it's messages from the audience will display here. So anything, if you're on Twitch, YouTube, you know, wherever, you don't actually need to be in that window to see if people are chatting. It'll actually appear right there to the right. And that's as cool. a guest. Yes. Usually that's a feature for the host, but every guest has the same access to all the chat that shows up. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, that is neat. And last, let's go ahead and cover the features that we have up here. Obviously, if you click go live, you're going to go live to any platform that you have connected. In my case, it is YouTube. We can go into schedule and we can schedule our live events, title, description. You can upload a thumbnail, select your date and time, and create an event page on a social platform. So if you have it connected to Instagram or Twitter, it will post to that. You'll be able to start a scheduled stream as well just by going up here and selecting it. And then of course you can add and remove channels. We can add Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, or whatever we want. Um, all you have to do to select the ones that you want to stream to is click this. So I can add Twitch and then click that and we'll stream to that because we do have two channels that we can stream to directly uh, with the free one. So what are the downsides to the free? Well, there are some features that you don't get access to like overlays and that sort of stuff. Um, there's a certain capped level of video clips that you can upload. You know, basically anything that you wanna upload to customize, well, you're kinda of capped at what you can do there. You stream in 720 and you have this little uh, watermark. That's pretty much it, if we're being honest. Now, let's go ahead and click the GoPro right here and take a look at what you get. So basically for 16 bucks a month, you're paying to remove the watermark. For $40 a month, you're paying to be able to stream in HD. Is it really that big a deal that standard is 720? I know a lot of people out there carry a stigma that says, oh, we have to stream in full HD, which is 1920 by 1080. And I'd like to ask you to go into your analytics and see what people are watching your content in. Nine times out of 10, they're watching it on a cell phone and it's in like 430 or 420. It's not even in 720. So you can get away with using all these amazing features and having amazing looking live streams that are just 720 for totally free. I wouldn't place that much power on the actual resolution in your head. It's just not worth it. Most people are not even watching it in 720. Awesome stuff. Now I want to talk briefly on Restream's original product, the multi-streaming service and why you might want to be using it. I know there are plenty of options to do this directly in OBS now, but not everyone has a connection that can handle it. And in that case, Restream's multi-stream is a great option. You get two destinations for free and there are no watermarks on the screen. They just add a stream with Restream in your description, which you can remove at any time after the fact. And the thing is, it just works. You stream to Restream and they stream that signal out to whatever destinations you choose. It's that simple. They even have a chat aggregator so you can see all the chats in one place. Although I'd probably use Social Stream Ninja, but it's good to have options. Now my kid uses Restream Multistream free service extensively. And in his testing, the only real drawback seems to be that YouTube has quite a bit of latency. But according to him, he says it's absolutely worth it 
because in a week of multi-streaming, he doubled his audience. And I'd say that's pretty cool for a free service. So if you want to multi-stream but can't because you have a poor connection, maybe give Restream a try. So who's the Restream studio for? Well, personally, I'd say it's for folks who want to stream from a laptop or a machine without a dedicated graphics card. You can still create amazing streams and not have to dish out a lot of money for equipment to run OBS properly. Now, I also think that anyone doing podcast type streams with guests will be very happy to use Restream. It makes everything so simple and it still looks great. But that's just what I think. What do you think about Restream? Let me know about it down in the comments. And Restream isn't the only browser-based service out there that offers a lot of free access. You can check out this video with a list of others. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.